these are the mother shoes seen it and i was like oh my gosh i need it i need it and then i got it and i was like this is so ugly it's one of my most stupid um purchases i can't get chanel this is my chanel this smells good now i can smell the nectar <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It is the SB way of showing you how to live a fulfilling life through faith, lifestyle, exploration. Okay, so as you see from the title of this video, it is a collective luxury haul. And when I say collective, I do mean collective. It's a couple of pieces, but I just really wanna share. So this is like my Serena's trove. This is like my little trove of like cute little things. Um, I do believe that we're supposed to live in abundance. And I just wanna say that luxury is not a necessity. It is a... Uh, it's a plus to life. I do not buy any of these things if my bill's not paid, if I haven't tithed, and if I have not, um, you know, also paid myself and put money into my savings. So this is with the leftover money that I've already been provided for by God. And I just wanna say that because, you know, I just wanna make that known. That and before I start, I know I might get some questions. This is actually from Savage X Fenty, and I guess this is a luxury. You know, I'm feeling luxurious in my purple. And I guess we'll start with Ruslan Baginski. So this is Ruslan Baginski. It is a accessories brand from Ukraine. And I really, really got into Ruslan Baginski because I started seeing it a lot on Des Dior, if I have to be honest. Des Dior is a lot of the fashion girls inspo. And I heard it was on Gigi Hadid or Hadad. I forgot her name, Gigi. I heard it was on her, but I saw it on Des and I was like, oh my gosh, I want it. And then everybody freaking started getting them. But I wanted something that could last me throughout the seasons. And you know, it was a classic ba Baker Boy cap. And yeah, so I got this and truthfully, is it worth the money? I don't know, you tell me. So it is a classic Baker Boy cap and it looks like this. Um, and this is how it looks, like literally, this is how it looks. It's kind of faded out right now, so I'm gonna try to like get the color. But um, it looks like this and I think it's really, really cute actually. And I genuinely think I could wear this in the summer. I think I could wear it in spring. I think I could wear it during any time. Powder blue is one of my favorite colors. I usually have powder blue on my nails. And I was actually gonna have the video with this Bear Boy cap on, but it's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to y'all. I'm not gonna give it to y'all like that. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cute. This was like beautiful to me and I really wanted it. I think it's one of my most stupid um, purchases, if I'm being honest. I don't wear it often, um, but I'm gonna try to force myself to start wearing it. It was about 200 and something dollars, so it was close to $300. Um, and yeah, I think that it's cute though, and it does. I wore this outfit, I'm gonna insert the picture. It looked cute. As you see, it looks cute on me. I'm gonna get used out of it, but I just haven't worn it yet. And sometimes I look in my closet and I regret it. And now that I took it out, I really actually like it. I'm glad that I got it. And it's something that, you know, is cute. And it's genuinely something that I wanted. It's genuinely something that I wanted for real, for real. So, can't be mad at that. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show is JBW. So JBW watches, um, everybody gets them. You know, Instagram has been pushing 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 youtube has been pushing everybody's been pushing i got it for a christmas sale i couldn't resist it was 275 dollars the piece that i'm going to show you i'm actually wearing it right now it's a set and you're actually supposed to wear it together but i just don't like them together i feel like it looks you know weird but here is my piece um it looks like this and it's just diamond crystals or whatever and again, I'm gonna show you guys a better look at it, but then it's it's rose gold, it's a square face. I got square face because I like basic and simple. That's just me though. I know a lot of people might not like that, but I do. I hate like, and I hate how the regular gold look, but this is the set, this is how it looks. It's cute. <clears throat> 
um and this is how it looks and it actually looks cute together now that i think about it but i just always wear them separate and this was about 295 dollars like i said it was reduced um it was reduced okay so my next purchase is my jacquemus jacquemus bag and this is the black one i got this simply because i really really wanted it bad i believe this was 590 this is the leche quito no, this is the I gotta I gotta tell y'all what it is because I'm horrible. I'm just I'm just saying, okay, I got this. Haha, ha, I don't even know the names. I'm tr telling you, I really do like like this bag though. So I'm gonna get the details and I'm gonna come back. Simply, this was the Lechi Lechiquito Moyen, and it was simply six hundred dollars. It was six hundred dollars flat. I got it from the website, the Jacquemes Jacquemes website. And basically it comes like this. I really, really love it. This is not the medium, this is not the small size, this is the size after the small. The reason why I love this bag is because I genuinely wear this bag, like kid you not, probably once or twice a week. So I think I got my money's worth because I've worn this bag so many times. I got it as a Christmas gift for myself. And um, yeah, I just really like it. As you see, it has the Jacquemies like right here. And y'all, I know I'm saying it wrong. I really do. I need to learn, but sorry and um yeah it's just a cute shape the structure is cute it's black and gold it's just simple you can wear the bag many ways you could just wear it without the strap obviously you could wear it with the crossbody i wear this a lot now when we get inside of it it's genuinely not that big i can't lie to you it's really not that big but i feel like this bag is the type of bag you do a couple of cards with and you do a lip gloss you do your mask you can even do your wallet but as for your phone it's just if you have a the phone's not going it's not closing my phone does not fit it doesn't this it, it's no way it's gonna fit you feel me so yeah that's okay so i'm gonna get into another purse and this is a brandon blackwood purse and the reason why i'm saying this is luxury is because dang it it is luxury it is black girl luxury this is a black owned brand and this was 300 dollars. i got it um in January or whatever I seen it and I was like oh my gosh I need it I need it and then I got it and I was like this is so ugly this is so ugly why did I get this bag but now I'm back by loving it again I think that it's so beautiful I think it's a summertime bag I've been forcing myself to wear it it's like a cream bag on the inside and then it's knitted on the outside and then like the top has these designs um, if you can see them and basically it's just cute and I kind of got it because it reminded me of um, it reminded me of a Bottega bag kind of like those Joey purses before a cheaper price but now that I think about it this also is kind of a it kind of reminds you of Miu Miu you know Miu Miu has those like satchel bags now and they're like three thousand dollars this is a three hundred dollar bag compared to that or a Bottega bag which is like you know, two thousand, three thousand dollars. This is cute, and I just think it's really, really cute. I'm actually gonna stand up for this, but yeah, like, look at how cute that is. It's just cute. Um, it's pretty, and I just think that like, it's a cute summer bag, and yeah, I'm just actually really happy that I got it now. It's really pretty now that I'm like really looking at it and holding it. And it's spacious, it holds stuff. Um, I've used it, like I said, so I got stuff in here. Um, try not to hide it. And the structure, it remains structured. Um, so, this is my big Gucci bag that I got. I really saw these and I fell in love. I fell in love. I fell in love. So, whew. I try to keep everything like I'm in the store. I try to keep it because I was like, for this moment, as you see, it's not, it's already unboxed. But these are the, I'm just gonna, just gonna talk about it. Ah, love it, love it. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I've already done an unboxing of these on here probably. Um, but yeah, these are the, these, are the mother shoes you see that tiktok you know what i'm talking about so yeah so dun, 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 dun. 
It comes with two dust bags, just letting you know. So this is one shoe. I got these Gucci Crocs, baby. The Gucci Crocs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think they're really, really cute. And I'm just gonna show you the other one. Um, to die for. And these were $4.93, but it came up to like $5.25. I know the exact price. I literally searched everywhere for these shoes, y'all. Like I had them got I had them ordered from Orlando and I was calling everywhere. They didn't have my size. They don't have these sizes anymore. So I really like wanted to get it. And it was just like I had to get these shoes. And these are just so cute. They're crocs. They were made in Italy. I mean some people are probably not going to care about all that. They're not Gucci Crocs. They're just Gucci platform, um, per, pef, perforated sandals. But I just think they're so cute. Like, even with this outfit I have on, like, they're so cute. And I can just show you. I'm breaking um, code a little bit. I kind of show you how they look on, if you can see. Like, do you see? Oh, yeah, y'all see that I'm wearing sweatpants. But, yeah, do you see how cute that is? Do you see how cute that is? So while we're on the subject of Gucci, this was actually my birthday present, my original birthday present that I wanted to give myself. I saw this bag in California when I was in um, California at the New Year with my best friend. I'm like, this is gonna be my birthday gift to myself. I actually ended up, it was supposed to be white and gold, but I ended up getting the white and silver and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. It's just a beautiful, beautiful purse. And this one I was able to kind of, you know, save to do the unboxing. Love. Um, whoop. Gotta be careful. And then this is the dust bag. It's really, really cute. Like I said. And then this is the bag. Whoa! It's so pretty. And it's just white. It's like this cream and silver. And I just feel like this. And then the silver chains. It's just different. It's like that gunmetal like. And you can wear this bag many different ways. And right now, like if you do it like this, this is like classic. And since I can't get Chanel, this is my Chanel. Okay? So this bag was 1200 No, this bag was 1100 but with taxes and everything, it goes up to $1,300. So yeah, this is it. It's really cute. And this is how I would wear it, you know, as a little Chanelica. Like, it's so, so cute, right? I keep on breaking character. Um, you can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it actually without the chains as well. And this is also cute. And I'll probably like wear it as like a clutch. This is so, so cute. Don't you think so? And this was a birthday gift to myself. It was uh, $1,300. I don't regret it, actually. Usually I regret it, but I don't. If you're wondering what can fit in here, can my phone fit in here? Yes, and it's forcing, though. You know that song, that TikTok that be like, it barely fit. Yeah, that's how it, that's how it is. So, show me y'all. But it's just a super mini Marmont. So this is what it's called. It's called the Super Mini Marmont White and Silver. I'm pretty sure this is like gunmetal. It's so beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. Sheesh. And then it has Gucci on the inside. It has no pockets. I really don't like the large size of Marmonts. And then it, it has this, um, you know, Gucci keychain. So I guess you can put your keys on it or whatever. And then it has like the metal, the, the Gucci on the clasp. The Gucci on the thing and the little details, you know? I'm really into like the little details, not because anybody else cares, but just simply because um, I like love it. And here is like the Gucci. This is the real. Some of y'all is real. I paid for it. And yeah, I just really, I love it. I love it. Tomorrow, I love it. It's only one day. Oh. Like, this purse is so pretty. Like, I was made for this purse. 
Okay, so last but not least, I got these fragrances, and these fragrances are things that I just, I, um, I've gotten um, a lot of fragrances lately, but um, these, I guess, are gonna be the, the, the luxury. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go get my other fragrances. Cause fragrances are luxury, period. Y'all, I had to go get the fragrances to show y'all, okay? So I'm back with my fragrances. I would also say that if we're getting into fragrances, I could say luxury. I got luxury candles. So I've gotten a lot of Jackie Ina candles. Um, so Forever Mood, I subscribe to her subscription um, box. Subscribe to Jackie Ina's luxury um, subscription service, candle services. And I got two of her spring boxes. And as you see, this is what they are. It's pink and green. Out of office and do not disturb. Honestly, I have the um the 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 baked collection, like the baked. Um, that collection was so 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 good. This collection, and then I also got like my um Gemini um thing. This okay, this smells good. <laughs> the I, I, I said I was gonna say oh it don't smell good. This smells good. I don't know how to describe it. This one, this is more clean and this is more like, I guess, like fruity, but they don't have as potent a scents as like the actual main candles. I don't know, her new candles haven't, haven't had, her new candles haven't had as potent of a scent, but I also think that sometimes you have to get deeper into the candle because each candle, there's different bases, there's different smells. So this was April 22 and only one of 2,500. So there's only 2,500 candles only, so you know, I have the special candles, so I really had to share because I really did subscribe to a luxury um, candle um, subscription, and I never thought I was gonna be that girl. Well, actually, I always knew I was gonna be that girl. I actually always knew, but um, I didn't know I was gonna be that girl so this early on in my life. But yeah, um, that is what it is. So this is my new signature, which is my my Burberry Black. And if you follow my TikTok, I talked about it, and this just smells like sexy vanilla. And I don't know how to say it, but it just does. And um, the notes of notes are sun drenched sun jasmine and peach nectar, but it gives that plus vanilla for me. So I actually have two because I paid ninety one dollars each for these at Walmart.com, and they are real, as you can see. I got two because I thought that it was going to be discontinued. And I just checked Sephora and it says it's not discontinued. But this is my Burberry Black and it just smells so good. And I just want to spray it on me now, but I'm not going to do too much because again, like, oh my gosh, now that I think about it, yes, now I can smell the nectar. Now I can smell the tangerine. This is definitely not vanilla. It has like that arum at the bottom. It's like it's like this strong base of like wood or something like that but it's definitely sweet and that's what gets you because it's like sexy but sweet but like oh my gosh and then what i love to do is i love to pair this with oat oil plus jojoba oil and this is the daily moisturizing mist and i got this from tiktok okay i got this from tiktok and um, this is oat oil and jojoba oil, and this just smells good, okay? So I sprayed this, and then I sprayed the perfume, or sometimes I do this with any perfume just so that the oil can, the perfume can stick to the oil and it lasts longer, but especially with that My Burberry Black. Okay, with My Burberry Black, I've been putting it on me, and I love it. So the next perfume that I got that I'm going to show you is Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy. And yes, I did get this small little size because it's $250 and I really want this perfume badly and I'm probably going to buy the full size perfume. But I just couldn't get myself to do it because i just been spending, you know, I just couldn't. I was like, I'm sorry, $250 on a perfume? I can't do it. I'll probably do it eventually once this runs out. But this is Love by Killing Don't Be Shy. And this is honestly one of my favorite scents right now. This is the perfume that they say Rihanna smells like. Um, so get into it, baby, get into it. And it smells like, again, this was $45 just for this little vial. But this gives you like 90 sprays if you use it correctly. So yeah, and just to give you the, the notes that are correct, Luscious Marshmallow Sugar Accord, and it has an amber base. 
So I guess that amber base is what takes it to that sensual level. And it's narrowly orange blossom and marshmallow. And it's about, it's in the narcotics family from rose to tuberose, from orange blossom to gardenia. Killing on flowers are composed like a narcotic dependence. So basically with this, when you smell this perfume, you want more. And I guess that's the same thing with this. This one has that like orange thing with that amber base. And that, maybe that's why I love these perfumes. And now I'm starting to see I love that like sweet and seductive scent. Like this perfume, like I'll tell you, when I put this on, like when I sprayed it, I was like, yeah, this is the one. Like it smells like marshmallow sugar. And I don't know if you know how marshmallow sugar smells, but I don't either. But it smells like this. Okay. All right. So the last one that I got was this Chloe perfume and it's the natural one and this one was $103. This one I'm going to unbox with y'all because I really love this perfume. Um, I was at Sephora one day and I was trying on perfumes when I first was trying to get um, my friend a perfume and then I ended up getting the My Burberry Black. But this perfume basically is just like clean and fresh and it just really really smells so good. It's for those light days like as soon as I even opened it i can smell it like do y'all smell that do y'all smell okay y'all don't but like this is it and it's so small but it's so cute and this is chloe and it's just such like a good smell and it smells like a fresh garden and i just want to get it smells really natural and feminine it's rose citrus floral yellow floral there's a little bit of woody um sweet it's fresh but mo mainly they say it's rose um so oh wow and it was launched this last year in 2021 so this is a newer perfume if you guys want to get into it let's get into it baby this one and this is the brazilian cherry crush cheriosa pistachio and salted caramel listen this right here is a luxury this right here this was 20 dollars let me tell you Got it open. But yeah, this, I wish that you can smell this. This smells like pistachio, salted caramel. This is also like, I guess, pistachio and almond, heterotrope, jasmine petals, sandalwood, salted caramel, and vanilla. So the, the, the top is pistachio and almond. The mid is heterotrope and jasmine. And then when it dries, it's vanilla, caramel, and salt, sandalwood. This is a hairspray, and this is also like, you know, um, a... A regular spray i want to spray this but i'm actually going to be wearing this for my birthday so i don't even want to you know mix the perfumes but bro this smells so good and actually i probably mix up oh my goodness it smells so good like i just really want y'all to smell this like this is as before this is 20 dollars. go get it go get this and go get this and put these bad boys together put this with it any like I like nuts, as y'all see. I like nutty smells. Like, ugh, it smells so good. So got the ebony wood, and this is very woody, and this is very mature. I got this as a gift. Shout out to Kaylin. Um, at first, I didn't like it, but then I liked it, but then I didn't, but then I did. This is a scent that you got to mix with something, and it's also a scent that you got to grow. But it depends on how I want to smell that day. I feel like this is not necessarily a summer scent, but this could be a boy or a girl scent. I think it's an interesting scent. So when you want somebody to like smell you and like remember you, wear ebony wood because it's not something that you can describe anywhere. That is all I have. And I was just sharing some of the things that I got. I really love everything. I'm really grateful. And again, this is no way or means to show off. I do not want to show off. I just wanted to share some things with you guys. I talked a lot about fragrance and that was fun. And I didn't even expect to get into that. I also showed some of the new things that I've gotten. I've gotten one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, like maybe five luxury pieces within the last eight months, which I guess is like you know, one every two months, which is still a blessing. But again, I never wanted to make it seem like I'm showing off. And I just want to show that everything is attainable. I'm, when you see this video, a 24 PhD student, 24 year old PhD student. And I'm very blessed and I'm blessed because of God's abundance and God's love and his provision for me that he allows me to do things that not only that I need, but also what I want. So I just want to let you know that this is attainable. And even if this is not your definition of luxury, get your definition of luxury um and don't be conformed to you know the world or the patterns of the world or don't watch this video and think oh my gosh i need to get that because 
you know, whatever. Like I got all these pieces because I genuinely love them and I like wear them in my house and I try them on and like, they make me happy. I'm happy without them, but because I had the extra money and I could, I did and I'm obsessed. Now, if it's just something that I just pass by and I say I'm cute, I'm not gonna force myself to get it. But things that I'm gonna wear often and really care about and love, I'm definitely gonna get, cause you know, why not? So again, thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. So I'm gonna talk to you later and bye.